everyone. This video lesson is about employing appropriate communicative styles for various situations. The objectives of this lesson are Identify the different types of communicative styles Employ appropriate communicative styles for various situations And state the importance of knowing how to use appropriate communicative styles in various situations Look at the given scenarios All of them show different communicative styles which we're going to discuss later on But before we proceed to the discussion of the lesson, accomplish first this learning task. And these are the answers to learning task 1. Did you get all of them correctly? That's great! Now let us go to the discussion of the lesson which is communicative styles. Communicative styles portray how a language is characterized in terms of degree of formality. There are different types of communicative styles, and the first one is the casual communicative style. This is an informal language used by friends and peers. Slang, vulgarities, and colloquialism in formal contractions are normal in this type of speech style. This also uses group language, so only members of the group can understand it. Here, nicknames are used in addressing one another. Examples of casual communicative style are everyday conversation with buddies or friends, a personal message and personal emails, blogs, tweets, letters to friends, and phone calls. The next is consultative communicative style. This is used in semi-formal communication where sentences tend to be shorter and spontaneous. It happens in two-way participation. It uses unplanned speech. This is the normal style for speaking to strangers or persons who are neither acquaintances nor friends nor relatives. Examples of consultative communicative style are Regular classroom discussions, doctor patient, lawyer client, counselor client, group discussion, teacher student, and expert apprentice. The next is the formal communicative style. Formal speeches are straightforward speeches. It is used in speaking to large groups and is impersonal in nature. It avoids using slang terminologies and uses formal English. Language is comparatively rigid and has a set. Agreed upon vocabulary structure, complex sentences, and noun phrases. Examples of formal communicative style are meetings, school lessons, interview, welcome address, orations, technical reports, speeches, corporate meeting, sauna, announcements, and research papers. The next is the frozen communicative style. This type of communicative style rarely or never changes. It is frozen in time and content. It is generally used in a very formal setting. This is the most formal communicative style for a respectful situation. It has a fixed and static language and uses long sentences with a good command of grammar. Examples of frozen communicative style are National Anthem, Religious Rites, Pledge of Allegiance, The Lord's Prayer, Creed, Holy Mass, Rituals, Constitution, and Oath. 
The next is the intimate communicative style. This type of communicative style applies to conversational experiences between and or among people who share intimate relationships. Usefully done in private, this also shows no social boundaries among the speakers considering their intimacy. This also employs informal and intimate language. Examples of intimate communicative style are sharing of secrets between friends, parents talking about their family goals, and meditation. Did you understand the discussion about the different communicative styles? Very good! Now it's time to perform learning test 2. Here are the answers to learning test 2. Did you get all of them correctly? Wow, that's fantastic! How did you find learning test 2? Was it easy? That's nice! Here is another learning test for you. Learning test 3. Choose the best speech or message that matches the situation. Write your answers in your notebook. Now here are the answers to learning test 3. Did you get all of them correctly? Wow, that's fabulous! This ends our video lesson on employing appropriate communicative styles for various situations. Hope you learned something and hope to see you again in my next videos. This is Teacher Thess saying thank you for watching. See you next time.